everyone, Amanda here from ScrimpingMommy.co.uk. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm just coming to answer some questions that I've been asked. I frequently get emails and messages asking me how I store things, how I store my inks, how I store my dyes, how I store my paper and my cardstock. So today I'm going to share with you how I store my dyes. Now, I did start and store them in one specific way and I have recently changed to a new way and I'm going to show you both um, and, and I'm going to explain why the new way I have found is way way better okay so first of all I will tell you I do not add my dies to the coordinating stamp set and I'll tell you for why the reason being that I will forget about them out of sight out of mind and I don't always only use the dies with the matching stamp set sometimes I'll use them and coordinate them with other things so if these are in with the stamp set I won't think to do that so I do keep them separate I keep them in the wallets that they come in from stamping up I don't feel it necessary to take them out and store them another way these are sturdy it's got the name already written on it it's already got the order number in case somebody needs it or I want to reorder that item. It's there. Okay? It's perfect. They're already stored. Why spend extra money? Okay? Extra money, extra time and extra room on further storage. <laughs> so inside the wallets, they do come with... All the dies come on this annoying stuff, which is the backer. And it's got the sticky strips. And that's to keep them flat and safe in transit. Uh, and I would advise removing your dies from this, more or less straight away. Um, and get rid of this. Don't then leave this inside or it will stick to your paper sleeve inside and rip it. Don't want that. If you're struggling to get your dies off of this sticky strip, do not bend them and force them. Use your heat tool, put it on it for a few seconds, it will warm the glue up and it will help loosen those dies. If you don't have a heat tool and you're struggling, I would say I would rather you rip that and tear it off a bit at a time than try and pull your metal dies off if you're struggling because you could bend those dies. Um, they are pretty sturdy but you know if you're giving a lot of force, you don't want to bend them. Discard that, it, it's no good, you don't need to save it, get rid of it. Okay, so then this is the old way I used to store my dies. You'll have seen probably each way that I'm showing you before. But I used to store mine on um, magnetic shims. You can buy them. There is a cost to doing this. Um, it's not over expensive, but it's an added cost. Okay, and if you're starting to organise your dies from scratch and you've got quite a lot of dies to organise, this is going to end up costing you quite a bit of money. Also, you've got to somehow cut these sheets to size. There's going to be some waste because more often than not they come in A4 size. And you're going to either be cutting with scissors or even worse, perhaps using your trimmer. You don't really want to be cutting um, these with a trimmer. It will absolutely, definitely not do your blades any, any good. Okay. Um, so, the other downside to doing this I mean the great side is you know it's metallic and they're, and they're on there and the the kind of you know they're, they're perfectly safe they're not going anywhere so it, it, that is good but the other downside to that to these are these do have weight to them and you would be surprised how much weight that adds to your package okay and if you are using the metallic shims on say one of the bigger sets like the large letters that is quite a hefty package now because I've used the magnetic shims in there as well and I think I needed three in that one. So you're adding bulk and you're adding weight. So that's how I used to do it. Now I'm going to show you how I do it now and it's much more budget friendly. I don't have to cut anything to size and it doesn't ha add weight or bulk and I use these. And these are CD wallets, the clear ones. I get these from, well, I got these ones from Wilco in the UK. You can more than likely get them online. And I got 50 of these for about £2.50. So work out the price difference between 50 of these and needing 50 um, magnetic shims. This cost, 
it is way 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 cheaper it's it's a fraction of the cost also these don't actually weigh anything they're, they're as light as a feather okay so it's not going to add weight or bulk to your package now i've done it here okay so yeah you just tip them out on your desk and use them and make sure that when you've done you put them back in you've got the number of dies on the back there so all you've got to do is count them back in um and you know if one's gone missing don't don't rest until you find it <laughs> but then that just slides back in there nice like it's nice and slim there's no bulk i've not had to use my trimmer or my scissors to cut up um, those magnetic shims and like I say it's a fraction of the cost now like I say as well I don't feel it necessary to take them out of these wallets they're nice and sturdy they've got the name on etc uh, and what I do is I store them in a little metal tin which I got for free one celebration um, you know you don't have to have fancy this and fancy that just something that fits uh, and is wide enough will do the trick and I do store them in alphabetical well they, they might not all be in alphabetical order today because I've been using them but I do go through um, every couple of days and make sure they're all in alphabetical order so it's easier for me to find those dies um, I do keep retired ones separate so that it's quicker for me to find something that's current and that sits on a shelf well on a work surface it sits there, I've got a similar tin for all of my embossing folders and it sits right next to my big shot. So there's no going and hunting, no going and looking for stamp sets to try and find the dies, no going in alternate storage, opening up wallets and flipping through and trying to find it. They're just there, it's as simple as that. And the larger dies um, are just, I don't have that many of these, so they're just sat on the shelf at the side and it's perfectly adequate so don't go spending an absolute fortune on storage for your thinlets uh, because they you know they already come stored <laughs> it's perfect why pay more because the money that you could be spending you could buy another stamp set <laughs> so i hope those tips are handy one further thing before we go I have this beautiful card over on my blog today, so do nip on over, leave me a comment to enter my blog Kanda. It will be ending on the last day of the month, and then, um, you know, that will be my blog candy done for now. I might do some more later, but go on over and have a look at that and leave me a comment. I hope these tips have helped, and um, yeah, budget friendly storage. No need to spend a fortune. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.